Rockets are big machines, and it is not an easy task to lift and send a spacecraft into space against the brutal force of gravity. It's expected off these boosters' flames to create some damage as happened in the case of the SLS rocket. Just after the launch, there was concern about the launch tower's condition. During remote camera pickups, photographers have been strictly told to not take photos of the Artemis 1 launch tower. Now that was really odd. Was NASA hiding something? Well, it's been over two weeks since the historic Artemis 1 SLS rocket launch. And the results are finally out. So in this video, we are going to talk about the situation that arose just after the spectacular launch of NASA's biggest operational rocket, Artemis 1. What happened to the launch tower? Will it be a big trouble for NASA? Let's find out. NASA took over a decade to build the biggest rocket system, the Artemis 1 SLS rocket. There is no doubt that it is the biggest operational rocket to lift off from the face of the Earth. Earlier, there were a lot of controversies related to this SLS rocket because it was supposed to launch in 2016. Then, NASA kept announcing new dates for its launch. But every time, there was a new problem that caused the delay. Finally, the rocket lifted off on the 16th of November, taking the Orion capsule into space for a 26-day long spatial flight. This was a non-crewed flight that will take a tour close to the moon and come back making a splash landing in the Pacific Ocean. This was a sort of test flight for Artemis 1, which will pave the way for Artemis 2, which will take crewed flight before 2030 and will land humans on the lunar surface once again. Well, how successful will this Artemis 1 mission become? We'll know about it once it completes its spatial tour and comes back to Earth. For now, let's get to the thing we are all here for. It is the damage that the launch sequence of Artemis 1 rocket ship has done to its mobile launch tower. The launch tower that was made for Artemis 1 is not just another tower, it's quite a special one. It took a whole decade to build this tower, which now helped NASA launch its biggest rocket. For historical context, it wasn't built specifically for Artemis 1, as it was initially developed for NASA's Constellation program, and back then, the development costs were around $668 million. After that program got cancelled, NASA planned to perform modifications to the tower, so it can be prepared to launch the SLS rocket. NASA did the necessary modifications, and the expected costs for the tower have crossed the $1 billion mark. All the costs and time are there, but no one really cares after the successful launch. Everyone knows these rockets are big machines, and in the case of the SLS rocket, it produced 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust to take the heavy rocket into space. Thankfully, the launch went successfully. It was an emotional moment for the management and staff working on it, because it was long overdue, and the whole astronomy community was waiting to see it take its flight. Every time it was supposed to launch, a problem occurred which delayed the launch. Sometimes it was the rocket, and other times the weather. It isn't like the launch of November 16th wasn't the perfect one. Just a few minutes before the rocket was supposed to launch, there occurred a leak in one of the pipes of the launch tower for which the team had been sent. Considering the rocket was fueled up, it could have turned into a disaster. Still, the crew went in and fixed the leak while the SLS rocket was standing on its mobile launch tower. The crew said they could hear the cranking sounds of the rocket. It was odd that the crew was sent in because all it takes is one chemical reaction and everything near it goes flying away. The crew fixed the broken part and once they confirmed everything was in order, the Artemis 1 rocket took its flight. Mike Safarin, who is the mission manager for Artemis 1 said, I would simply say that the results of Artemis 1 were eye-watering. Now that the SLS rocket is airborne, there is another concern that has bombarded the news. And it is the damage that Artemis 1 has done to its launch tower. As I mentioned, when the launch was happening, NASA strictly refrained anyone from taking pictures of the launch tower. After the launch, everyone was concerned to know if the tower sustained some huge damage. 
After all, $1 billion is not a small amount of money that could be ignored just because the launch went successfully. Despite all the concerns that were raised immediately, NASA waved them off by saying that it still needs to assess the damage. It was the very first time a launch of great magnitude was conducted at the Kennedy Space Center, so they needed time to perform the evaluation. It's been over two weeks, and the results are finally out. According to the reports, the exhaust flames that came out of the boosters were at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is enough temperature to melt any hard metal. But the towers are designed in a way that they can sustain these high temperature exhaust gases. The reports mentioned that the launch deck had signs of damage. Safarin said, We had a large amount of water come out to keep the deck protected. The water suppression did a great job with the exception of right around the edges of the flame trench. But there was nothing that couldn't be expected. If you are launching such a great rocket, then such damages are normal for the deck but SLS did some real damage to the elevator. Its door is blown off, and to date, it's not functioning. That's one of the reasons the assessment took a lot of time, because many floors are not accessible because of the malfunction. The reports also included some minor damages to pipes and hosts and a few metal sheets that were blown off by the thrust produced by the SLS rocket. All in all, the tower is not in big trouble. As NASA says, all the damage was predicted, and it was just 0.3% off the predicted damage assessment. NASA has started working on making it perfect again, so it can be used for Artemis II. But SLS rocket performance exceeded what was expected. Everyone expects perfect equipment, especially considering you're spending a billion bucks. But I guess it's time to see how this mission performs, while NASA takes care of the damage. So, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.